Hello everyone. God, stupid toilet machine. Still making that noise, so if you can't hear me because of that noise, sorry, it's just happening because my toilet pipes are very loud. Um, so I do want to say please check out Markiplier's channel. He made a video on why YouTube is broke or it's breaking. I really hope that is not true, that YouTube is fine, they just need a little time to reboot it. So I hope and yeah, you're probably looking at your screen like, what is this piece of crap action figure? Hope it's not official, because I'm never going to buy that. It's actually a custom. Uh, I haven't finished it yet. I wanted to show a work-in-progress version of him, uh, so that you kind of see, like, he started out as an Iron Man figure. Um, if you have the Marvel vs. Capcom Mega Man and Iron Man pack, that's the, the base figure that I used. I took off his shoulder pads, and then the white stuff is epoxy sculpt, which I just molded onto him. Uh, I have to finish him, and I have to find a way that I can do it so that we can't have joint rub on his arms. And I haven't given up on him. He's just been a lot of time, because white and black are very contrasting colors, if you don't know. They are. So, when you paint something that's white, when you paint something that's, like, supposed to be white, but you paint black on it, it really is hard to get a whole lot of white on there. And sometimes, uh especially with action figures, joint rub will happen, which is when you move their arms out, and it will basically tear off the paint from that position. So yeah, sometimes they... If you know a way that I can avoid that, I will appreciate it. Anyway, uh, you can just kind of get a close-up on him. He has basically shoulder pad thingies, and the moon part I'm very proud of because it's... um. It's good. Oh. And the epoxy sculpt, for some reason, has been, like, making it look more yellowish than it is white supposed to be. And you can, just, of course, see that the black isn't really helping. And especially since my epoxy sculpt is gray. It's pretty bad sometimes. So this may be a figure that I just paint and just keep in one stance. And I do need a way to find out how I'm going to do the cloak, the cape thingy. Uh... I think I'm just going to get a piece of fabric, and my sister recommended taking a whole lot of hairspray to it, so that's like really crinkly, and then it can kind of be moved, or I could just take a normal piece of fabric, just leave it like that. Don't think I'm going to do that, because I want to give it some more personality. I want to give it a nice look. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to, first off, get that cape, and then second off... Will I want it to be posable? Because I can, of course, always just shove a wire through it. I did that with a Doctor Strange custom a long time ago that I gave to my friend. Uh, but, yeah, sometimes that takes a long time and sometimes it will mess up because the wire can break inside of it, the cloth. Uh, sometimes the cloth is, like, really thin and you can't really get a wire through it. But, anyway. Yeah, that's my dog barking again. Ugh. He barks at a lot of things. Oh, it's the mailman. Of course. The mailman always makes him lose his... I'm going to say a swear word, but I'm not going to say it. Anyway, uh, the whole entire figure I, it was red, so I just painted it all black. And then when I got my epoxy sculpt, I put it on. Bad thing is sometimes epoxy sculpt will rub off paint. A lot of times it will. And sometimes you can't always get it in the perfect spot. And since this is my first thing with epoxy sculpt, it of course um didn't turn out all that well. So I'm gonna have to find a way to fix this and make this better. And I like this for just being something that I tried and I'm not gonna give up on it, but if it if I was just a try and I never finished it, I'd still be happy because you tried. And if you ever do a custom feel that way that you tried your hardest. And even if it doesn't turn out, well, you created it. So, anyway, this was a shorter video of the 13 spooky reviews in 13 spooky days. But, hey, some of them have to be shorter than others because not everyone will be a giant Makuta review. Oh, I will just say, oh. Damn it. I put all the figures that I reviewed to the side so that we can do, like, a whole, like, little, hey, on the last day and, like, a little thing like, yay, yeah, thank you for watching, you're amazing. I couldn't do this without you guys, but they all fell. 
Anyway, uh, we'll put him next to Red Skull. Which Red Skull is shorter than most figures, especially the Iron Man figures. Yeah, that's because Iron Man is just generically taller. This is the 3.75 inch. This is almost like 4 inch. Um, then again, his hood does make him a lot taller. Uh, plus, Red Skull, I told you already, his legs are really wonky. They always go out, like, almost, like, kind of seems like he was dared by some Hydra soldier to do the split. So he's like, all right, and then he's like, I can't move. Help. <laughs> but um, I do like these figures. Uh, I, I like collecting 3.75 inch characters. I just like the comic book ones of those because the movie ones are terrible. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. It's 13 Spooky Reviews, 13 Spooky Reviews, and 13 Spooky Days. Uh, I have been your host, Rodimus. We have two more episodes left, two more days left of my cast. So we're on like the 11th day, I think. But um, I'm glad that you watch these. I'm glad that you enjoy them. Anyway, uh, see ya. Signing out. Outro.